Transport Driver app can be downloaded from the Play or Apple stores. It is used in conjunction with ACI, Advanced Courier Interface Software, used by your courier company. When opening the app for the first time, you are required to scan the QR activation code you have received from your courier company. If you haven't received a QR code, contact your courier company directly. Upon a successful scan, you can then log in using the driver call sign and password provided to you by your courier company. Once logged in, see that your courier company's name is displayed. So how does it work? Your courier company takes delivery bookings in ACI software and allocates that work out to drivers. Providing you're correctly logged into the app, you'll receive a notification of any work sent to you. The one by the live docket means that you've received one new job. Tap the job to view it. Jobs appear in different colours depending on their status. A red job is a new job awaiting acceptance or decline. A green job is in progress. It has been accepted but currently no stops have been completed. A yellow job shows that a collection has been made. The job is POB, package on board. And a blue job is complete. Note that the colours may vary based on your courier company settings. Your courier company may also bypass the accept and reject stage. Tap the job to view the details. On the details tab, you can see the job or docket number, the customer, contact details, any references, and any other details, such as whether the job is multi-stop or wait and return. On the addresses tab, you can see each stop and whether each one is a collection or delivery. Tap a stop to see the full details of each address. Once you have reviewed the address details, go back to the details tab and decide if you want to accept or decline the job, if these options are enabled by your courier company. Declining the job, if available, notifies your courier company. I will accept this job by tapping accept. You can then proceed to the collection point in your vehicle. On arrival, tap the addresses tab and the collection address. You could then tap collect straight away to confirm that you have the package on board. Or, depending on rules from your courier company, you can tap arrived at to tell your courier that you are on site. If you have to wait for the collection, you can tap wait and then take a signature from the recipient to authorise how much time you have waited for the collection. Once you have the package, tap Collect. This tells your courier company you are POB, package on board. The address stop then shows as completed. Then you can proceed to the next stop, or in this case, the delivery address. On arrival, tap the delivery address stop. You can again say that you have arrived, enter a waiting time, or just tap Deliver. See that you can also set an exception for a stop. This means that you are not able to collect or deliver a package as expected. The reasons that you see here are set by your courier company. These can be different for each courier if you work for more than one company. Each exception reason states what information you need to take, such as a photo, notes or a signature. If you see different items listed, as to what your courier company expects you to see, ask your courier to log an ACI support request to DA Systems. Any lists your courier company creates in ACI need pushing to the driver app by the ACI support team. For a successful delivery, tap Deliver. On the proof of delivery screen, enter a recipient name, a number of items, optional notes, and take a signature. Click Submit to complete the job. Your courier company is notified that the job is POD, proof of delivery. Some other app features. Driver tracking. Providing you allow location services within the NX Transport app, your courier company is able to track you whilst you are logged in. This helps your courier choose the most appropriate driver based on your location. Here is an example of how a courier company views all of their drivers using location services. They can zoom into the map and click on any driver. 
they can see how many jobs are allocated to that driver, how many packages they have on board, the last time they were seen by GPS location services, their last recorded speed and direction of travel. There are two very important things to understand about tracking. It is advised that you must allow GPS or location services. How it displays on your device will differ between makes and models, but always allow location services. Failure to always allow locations will mean that you cannot be tracked by your courier company and will not appear on the map, which may result in you being allocated less work. You must also turn off battery optimization or power saving mode on your device. If you leave battery optimization switched on, the app may go to sleep when not in use to save battery power. This breaks the location connection, meaning you can no longer be tracked by your courier company. Again, how this displays will differ between devices. Accepting all jobs. Should you be allocated multiple jobs? See here, I have four jobs assigned from the courier company. Instead of going into each job and accepting individually, you can tap the Actions menu and Accept All. If you accept the jobs, your courier company sees the jobs as allocated to you and in progress. Back in the app, you can see a few other sections. Archive Dockets allows you to view your most recent jobs. How long completed jobs stay here is decided by your courier company. It may be 7 or 14 days, for example. Scanning functionality will be demonstrated in a future video. The Messages section may be used by your courier company to communicate with you. Keep an eye out for messages here. You can use the Go on a break section to tell your courier company that you are not available for work at that time. You will show as unavailable in ACI software. Remember to stop your break so that you show as available for jobs again. Within settings, you can also choose to remove completed stops from your incomplete but still active jobs. Some frequently asked questions. Question. I work for multiple couriers who all expect me to log to the NX Transport app. How can I do this? Unfortunately, you cannot log in and out of the app using different usernames and passwords for different couriers. If you remember, when you first log to the app, you scan a QR activation code that connects directly to that specific courier company. Everything you do from that point onwards is for that courier. If you have to work for another courier, you must clear the app's data and relaunch the app, which will prompt you to scan a new QR activation code. The method to do this varies by device. In this example, I am using a Samsung. From the app, I would hold down the NX Transport icon and select App Info and then tap for stop. I would then scan the new QR code, log to the new company and continue. At this time, you would need to keep doing this every time you need to switch between couriers. Can I use the app to navigate to my destination? Yes, you can. Within each collection or delivery stop, you can press the navigation button to open up your device's default sat-nav pre-populated with the journey details. You can also press the call button to call the telephone number attached to the booking. How do I manage multi-stop routes? Multi-stop rounds work in exactly the same way as standard collect and delivery A to B jobs. The only difference is you see all the stops within the job. You accept the job, then complete and deliver each stop in the same way. How do I stop or cancel a job midway? Should you need to cancel a job, that you have already accepted, please contact your courier company. They will advise you what to do. You may need to log an exception to each stop. And finally, for any questions regarding the NX Transport app, contact your courier company directly. If they cannot answer your question, they can log a query with the DA System support team. Thank you.